Oh yeah, me again. So, I've had a little swap about. I've now put the 48 volt battery on. Uh, 52 volt, sorry, not 48. I've took the 48 off and I've put that on my Norco. Haven't given it a test yet because it's raining again in here in the UK. But um, yeah, as you can see, this one's reading out 57 volts. That's what they do anyway. But um, yeah, so uh, it's reading okay up here. But when I'm when I've got my cable on and I'm into the system of the motor. It actually reads that I've only got 48 volts for the motor to use. So basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to flash the actual system down there. And uh, it shows it will show up as a proper 58 volt, like uh, 52 volt. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I'm not going to show you everything to do, but I will put links to all the files you need to do it off your laptop or your PC, whatever, once you're connected. Then uh, you can go from there, really. It's better to read, read it off the link. All the files are there that you need, everything. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's crack on with that. So, as you can see, I hope the lighting might be a bit in the way, but basically it's showing there 48 volt and I'm using a 52 volt so I need to get it to show 52 volt and uh, the actual motor doesn't show it at the minute so I'm gonna flash that part of the motor so it will show it properly and yes I have got this one set up to um, use 25 25 amps Okay, I've got to put the camera down because I cannot use one hand for this job. So, there you go. Now I've done it. I hope you can uh, read it there. I'm not sure if you can because of the light. But um, it now says 48 volt to 52 volt nominal voltage. Yeah, so uh, all happy with that. I would have showed you the steps, but I don't want you actually following the way I do stuff. So, uh, you know, because you can brick your motor doing it. Just bear that in mind. But for me, it's worth doing because now I know everything's right. I did it. I had to do it on my last bow fang I built as well. My uh, 1000 watt motor. But yeah, so uh, I'm happy now. It's all there and all done. So it's just a case of disconnect and uh, away we go. But yeah, so there you have it. And that is my settings that I've got. I might have a few wrong, but I can, once once you've sussed it, you can go for a ride, come back, play about with it a bit more. Yeah, it's a shame about the lighting actually showing up on the screen, but there's nothing I can do about that nothing at all i'm just trying my hand over the top but no nah. i'll try turning that one off it might help no that not help at all but yeah so there you go let's just try turning this one off it might help you see it a little bit better if i adjust the thing around a bit see if i can get in a bit closer for you but yeah that's that's my settings my main settings I'll show you my settings for my uh, pedal assist. The only thing I adjusted on here was at the bottom to keep current to 80. You can go flat out, but don't really see the point, to be fair. Throttle, I haven't adjusted anything on the throttle. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. But it's a simple job. But like I said, like the reason I didn't show you my steps is because it's better for you to go down through the, the web page, read it all properly. All the files are there that you need, and away you go. Oh, and another little tip <coughs> is to um, get this Luna, Luna, Luna app 
because it is better than the standard one even though they show you firmware versions and all that you know all that sort of stuff it's, it is just better like you know do you see what i mean but yeah give it a crack let me know in the comments how you get on anyway catch you again stay safe out there get out and ride